Hi, I'm Park from Minigame Game Guides. In this video, I want to talk about ecosystem. Now, ecosystem isn't a typical game, so for that reason, I just kind of want to talk about it, just showcase all its features, and just give you a good idea of what you're going to buy if you haven't bought it just yet. And I'll just share some honest opinions about it. So let's get started. The game is actually all about a simulator of the ocean floor with your own fish that you can create yourself. So first of all, you're going to make the ocean floor and you're going to place the plants. Then you're going to go place some animals inside of it. Well, fish actually, and just kind of evolve from there on. And then before you know it, the fish will kind of take over and they will just, you know, kind of evolve for themselves. Now let's just start with a new game and just go step by step how it works. So first of all, we're going to create our ocean floor. Now you can choose from the different kinds of terrains or just randomize or just change it with the sliders as much as you want. Now, basically you can choose, for example, a flat area like the reef, or you can use the trench like I did, which is a bit more visually interesting, but that's all up to you. But once you've actually chosen, you can actually still change pretty much everything. The sculpting system is pretty much limitless. You can create your own caves, mountains. Uh, you can probably make some really great things. I wasn't able to do it because I have no artistic talent in this case. But I already know that there are going to be a lot of people who are going to create amazing things with these tools. So once you're satisfied with that, you can actually just start placing the plants down. Now, not only plants, you can create plants like, for instance, seaweed, stuff like that, but you can also place corals, sea stars, plankton. And the more that you place these in the same different kinds of areas, you're gonna get health points. Now these health points, they are calculated on the way that the plants work. So once you start out, you're gonna choose out of three plants. Now, first of all, you're going to see that they each have their preferred uh, ocean floor to sit on. So I don't really know how to say that. So that's sand or rock or stuff like that. And otherwise, you can also can see the way that they calculate the eco health points. For example, one is going to perform a lot better if there are a lot of different species around him or if it's the very first one in this area. There are going to be some obvious better choices. Uh, but yeah, you start off with three different kinds. But over time, you can just use your points that you're going to get which are the in-game currency, and then you can start researching different ones, and then you can choose from six, three more, and add it to your library just like that. Once you have enough eco health points and the area is well enough, so healthy enough for fish, then you can start placing one of the different types of fish down. Now you have the foragers, the consumers, and the apex predators. Now the foragers are just gonna be eating from the plants, the consumers are gonna eat the foragers, and the apex predators, well, pretty much already know what those are they're gonna kill everything they can see if you use one of these three buttons you're gonna just get some random fish now there's nothing really bad with that but let's be honest you're gonna want to design your own so if you have 20 research points you're gonna just pick this button right over here and then you're gonna start creating your own fish now actually it's a Pretty cool system. I found it really hard to make something cool with it, but you can just randomize as much as you want until you get something you like, but I try to do it myself. So you kind of just need to make one big part for the body actually, which is already going to be there. And then you're just going to be adding parts to that to get some fins or tentacles or whatever kind of thing you're going for. But anyway, it's pretty cool. Now, as I understand it, the big idea is when multiplayer goes live, that actually there's going to be this giant library and you can kind of select designs from other players, which is going to be really cool if there are some really artistic people and they're going to make some like octopuses or, for example, recreate the fish from Subnautica, for example. I think there are some really cool possibilities. Now, you may have already noticed that these fish, they don't really swim like typical fish that you and I know. So one of the main selling points of ecosystem is that there is actually a complete physics engine behind it. So the entire fish is kind of coded to interact with the parts as well as you can and kind of just blatantly move up based on that. So there are no pre-made animations. It just completely moves based on physics, which kind of delivers derpy movements. Uh, there were some fish that I had no idea if they were flying or fi swimming. I still haven't found a single fish that I can actually just, you know, move like a fish, which is really, really weird. For that reason, I kind of would have preferred some animations. It would also make, for example, the apex predators a lot more interesting since they could actually really start biting other fish, which would be a lot more interesting to watch. Instead of right now, they're just gonna swim towards another fish and then it's gonna just gonna disappear. 
Now over time the fish are going to reproduce and they are going to change by each generation into different shapes and colors, which is pretty cool. So then you can just, you know, you can create your own ocean floor. You can place the currents, you can make the shapes of the rocks and stuff like that. You choose which plants you want in which kind of area. And before you know it, just the entire thing is going to live all on its own like a true ecosystem, which is pretty cool. Now, ecosystem launched in early access today, so let me know in the comments down below if you're going to get it. But guys, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.